Secret handshakes, backroom deals, the works. Do you know your friends? Do you know your enemies? Look again. Yeah, secret societies have been around just about forever. And while most are just kind of a bunch of losers and weirdos trying to act mysterious, there have been some with actual impacts on the world, for better or worse. These are the top 10 secret societies in history. Or at least the ones we know of. If you're a member of a dark coven plotting to take over the world, tell us how sick your plan is in the comments below. Number 10. The Red Lanterns the Boxer Uprising was a brief period where a number of Chinese martial artists attempted to fight back against the invasion of Westerners in China. From this sprang a brief and brutal war, and in this war was the founding of the Red Lanterns. A fighting group of women who weren't allowed to join the main group of boxers as most of their sects had a policy against contact with women. As a result, the Red, Blue, and Black Lanterns were formed, each color denoting a different age group. Legend has it that they possessed mystical powers and could uh, use their red fans to leap into the air. Uh, their actual contributions to the rebellion are scattered amongst folktales and legends. But during the Cultural Revolution of 1967, the group found themselves as a symbol of revolution, given their association with the color red deemed the color of progress. As a result, Zhang Qing, Chairman Mao's wife, produced a play titled The Legend of the Red Lantern, which didn't mention the boxers, but repopularized the image of the society. Number 9. The Independent Order of Odd Fellows. That is the most British name I can think of. This society was founded in Baltimore, but moved to England. It was the first recorded fraternity to permit both men and women as members, and spread its lodges throughout America. It also currently exists, claiming to be the world's largest fraternal order, though they do use a lot of qualifiers to make that claim, so meh. Either way, they're operating with around 600,000 members, so it could be true. Their commands are to visit the sick, relieve the distressed, bury the dead, and educate the orphan. And they're generally considered to be a Christian society. Famed members include Charlie Chaplin, Wyatt Earp, Ulysses S. Grant, and Franklin D. Roosevelt. Legend has it that they keep real skeletons in their lodges' closets to remind members of their mortality. Eh, if it keeps them in line. Number 8. Black Hand a Serbian military society, the Black Hand was officially formed in 1901, even though most of its notorious actions wouldn't begin until 1911. Even so, they were responsible for the assassination of the King Alexander I and Queen Draga. Beyond that, they were fairly quiet until their establishment of the constitution, unification, or death, spreading their ideas through magazines. In 1914, the group had gained enough members to begin working working to liberate Serbians in Austro-Hungary, their most famous being the plot to assassinate Archduke Franz Ferdinand. From there, they've long since vanished, but their contribution to the beginning of World War I has made them one of the most prolific and by that right, dangerous secret societies in history. Number 7. The Order of the Elks An order established in New York, the Order of the Elks believed in the idea of a supreme being, whether that it be a Christian god or otherwise, the practices call for a full substitution of any deity with the title Supreme Being. The Order of the Elks was extremely discriminatory, demanding that its members not only be white and male, but completely loyal to the United States. Even passing sympathizers of communists, anarchists, and any other organization outside of their expected purview were denied membership outright. Interestingly, they have made attempts to modernize, slowly dropping their barring of anyone who is not white and male, though their conservative political beliefs are likely still intact. They generally engage in any activity they deem patriotic enough, and are usually found marking their graves with statues of elks. Members have included uh, Presidents JFK, Roosevelt, Harding, Truman, Eisenhower, and Ford. Number 6. The Molly Maguires So the Molly Maguires were formed in the 18th century in Pennsylvania. Comprised mostly of Irish immigrants, they engaged in acts which they decreed to be retributive justice, which usually took the form of violence in response to discrimination from landlords and new tenants of lands that had been previously owned by Irish workers. 
One of the Maguire's unique traits was their methods of disguising themselves as women and children, ambushing their targets. Another famous trait was their usage of the coffin notice, where landlords would receive pictures of coffins with the words, This is your house. Their rules were compiled in a work titled Address of the Molly Maguire to Her Children, and they managed to evade the law for a significant period of time. The Pinkerton Detective Agency was then called upon to aid in that investigation, and it was discovered that the Molly Maguires had actually hidden themselves within a different secret society by the name of the Ancient Order of Hiberians. Eventually, they were caught and executed by the state, though they maintained the justice of their actions the whole while. Number 5. The Illuminati uh, You've already heard of the Illuminati, or at least you should have. Usually seen as the de facto known secret society in the West, the Illuminati was supposedly founded in 1776 by Bavarian professor Adam Weishaupt. Their tenets generally were to just end the machinations of the purveyors of injustice, to control them without dominating them. This began a number of historical conflicts, such as their clash with the Rosicrucians, though when I say clash, it was more just like a bunch of rude letters. The group's actual power faded in 1787, when they were shut down by the government and went into hiding. Since then, for some inexplicable reason, they've just become the easiest to blame for any weird stuff. What about, what about the French Revolution? Oh, it's probably the Illuminati. Well, whatever. The point is that while the organization might still exist, and several organizations claim to have ties to the original, it's really just an easy name to run with because it sounds spooky. Or maybe I'm a member of the Illuminati trying to spread misinformation. Number 4. The Bilderbergs So in 1954, Polish politician Josef Redinger decided to hold a conference about anti-American sentiments he saw growing in Western Europe. The idea was that politicians from Europe and the States could get together to cooperate on general problems and forge a stronger relationship. From there, he included this cool little rule where members could use any information they gained from the meeting, so long as they just didn't mention the speaker by name. So of course, a bunch of people just took the idea of, of politicians meeting in a hotel as some kind of giant plot. The biggest supporter of this theory in terms of influence ended up being actually Fidel Castro, of all people, uh, publishing an article called The Secrets of the Bilderberg Group. Generally speaking, it is pretty concerning that a bunch of politicians are just meeting up in a hotel in the middle of nowhere. But as usual, some morons have just taken this to them being like lizard people or some crap. Of course, I could be a lizard person trying to dissuade you from looking into lizard people. But, um, I'm not. Number 3. The Freemasons The Freemasons are basically the grandpappy of every other Western secret society on this list. The Elks and a bunch of others are borrowing their rituals. Gathering in locations called lodges, the group was originally made up of stonemasons with a bunch of rules, such as the profession of their belief in any supreme being, or that they all had to be dudes. Um, for some reason, this just kind of ballooned into a society where fraternal rituals were held. Uh, for most of the time, they were just pretty harmless, but for some reason, they just ended up getting maligned for the secrecy and bordering on weird pagan practices. Despite that, there's really not much that they've done to earn the people's ire, but of course they got it anyways. Number 2. The Knights Templar Yeah, they actually count. While they weren't exactly concerned with keeping themselves secret, they were an organization with titles and rituals that perpetuated an agenda, and arguably did so far better than most of the other societies mentioned on this list. Formed with the objective of capturing Jerusalem from the Fatimid Caliphate, this organization existed until the 12th century, perpetrating a great number of horrible atrocities in the name of God. They were eventually disbanded by Pope Clement V, as their actions were critiqued as, you know, being against God. Number 1. De Beers Alright, I am dropping the pretense, get ready for this. De Beers is a diamond mining, retail, trading, and manufacturing company with their headquarters in London. Established in 1888, De Beers is easily the largest diamond production conglomerate in the world, and they are bluntly a diamond cartel. See. Diamonds are actually fairly useless materials, either used for jewelry or industrial equipment. Despite the split between diamonds mined being almost exactly 50% for both uses, jewelry makes up 95% of its total market value. But uh, surely diamonds are rare enough to justify this, right? Well, since De Beers owned over 90% of the rough diamond production and distribution, that is actually impossible to know for sure. 
Because the price of the diamond isn't dependent on economic conditions, it can create an effect of a constant increase in value, which tricked speculators into buying them to guard against inflation and recession in the 70s. As a result, De Beers began running the ad A Diamond Is Forever, artificially creating the idea that diamonds are incredibly valuable, but it's all fake. Not to mention that most of their diamonds were actually mined with the blood of South African workers, which was, you know, ended up creating the term blood diamonds. They've since mostly left the market due to alternative channels, but the trend that they started is still ongoing, and their brand is as valuable as ever for shiny rocks. I'm a lizard, and thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.